Genius Nation, what's going on? Welcome to the Daily Genius. I am Dr. Will. Wherever you are in the world, I hope your day is started off fantastic. Always great to have you inside the nation with us. For those of you that are watching this outside our private Facebook group, when I talk about the nation, I'm talking about our private Facebook group, Genius Nation, over one thousand entrepreneurs, career professionals, individuals that are committed to living their best life, committed to becoming the best version of themselves. So I invite you to join us over in our private Facebook group, Genius Nation. Just go over to Facebook, find our group and join us. It's a free group where we just want to provide for you motivation, inspiration, tips and tools and strategies and solutions to help you create your best life and to help you become the best version of yourself. So good morning to you. I want to talk to you. Somebody asked me a question uh, uh, over the weekend and they asked me about staying positive and how I always stay positive. So I want to talk to you about that because this is something that you're going to need to know how to do as long as you're living, as long as you're living on this planet, as long as you're living on this planet, there's certain things you need to learn to do and staying positive is one of those things because staying positive is not something that just happens automatic. And a lot of times when we see people on social media or uh, we see people in the public uh, arena, we, we tend to think that their life is drastically different or better than ours. They may have some different options and may have some different choices per se, but everybody goes through life. And I think we lose sight of that. One of the things um, I always remind myself is that we're all human and I never rob anybody of their humanity. Meaning I realize that everybody, everybody is human. And <coughs> whew, excuse me. I realize that everybody is human. So when I go meet somebody, I don't care um, what they do in life, what they, you know, what celebrity that they have, what they've achieved in life. I always remember that we're all human. And what do they say about being human? To err, <coughs> excuse me, to err is human, right? To err is human. So, you know, I'm never shocked and never surprised um, at what goes on in life because I know life is going to life. Life is going to happen. So how do we stay? How do we stay positive? Right? What are some things we can do to stay positive? I think number one, the first thing is you always have to have the right perspective of whatever's going on in your life. You have to have the right perspective. You have to have the right information. You got to have the right information. For instance, there's a Bible scripture that says, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. Well, you may be saying, man, how can you give thanks? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I took down our Christmas tree and I think a lot of that stuff is getting to me. So a lot of people may say, man, how, how can you find the good in everything? How can you give thanks in everything? My mom just died. My, my dad died. My brother died. My, my child just died. How can I find the good in everything? Well, you got to practice it. You got to practice it, right? You got to take a moment. And even though you may be uh, sad in that moment, you got the opportunity to do life with that person. No matter how long you got to do life with that person, you got to do life with that person. And I'm sure that you have some great memories that you can think about versus the loss, right? Yes, you're going to miss them. Yes, um, you still want them in your life, but I'm sure there's some memories that you've created. I'm sure that there's some times that you can reflect on that will make you feel better about that person, make you feel better about the situation, that you're not just focusing on that you lost them, but you can focus on everything that you were able to do with them as they were here. You know, um, you know you're rolling down the street and you have a flat tire. 
Well, you can be thankful that you have three other tires. You can be thankful that you have a spare. You can be thankful that you have AAA. If you're here in America, that you can call AAA and somebody can come and assist you. Or you have a cell phone that you can call your spouse or a friend and they can come help you. There's always things to be thankful for. There's always um, uh, roads to uh, gratitude that you can go down, right? And then when we talk about having this proper perspective, you know, life is going to life. Like you don't have to do anything bad for something bad to happen to you. You can do seemingly everything that you think is right and something will still happen bad. You can be the nicest person to everybody and somebody will still do you wrong, right? It's it's not because it's not, oh, you did bad and then somebody does bad to you. No, you can do, be the nicest person on the planet. Life is going to life. And so if you have that, if you have that perspective, if you have that perspective that, OK, this is this is just life. This is just this is just life. Yep. This happened. It was unexpected. But you know what? This is life. This is life. Then after you look at perspective, second thing I always do, if it's an uncomfortable situation or if a, a, a situation that's not favorable, I always remind myself that this is temporary. Just like the seasons, nothing stays forever. Just like the seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall, nothing stays forever. So if you're experiencing winter in your life right now, it's temporary. It's temporary. Nothing lasts forever. And we tend to think that, oh, because I'm in a situation, the situation is always going to be like this. But it's not going to always be like this. This is just temporary. And so I always remind myself that this is temporary, that this is just temporary, uncomfortable, but temporary, right? Uncomfortable, but temporary. And so number one, you got to get the right perspective. Number two, you got to tell yourself that this is just temporary. And then number three, which is so important, preparation to be positive. Preparation to be positive. Now, what do you mean, Dr. Will, preparation to be positive? So there's not some calamity going on in your life every single day, right? So what are you doing those days? The days that there aren't calamity going on in your life, what are you doing? You're preparing to be positive, right? What, what do I mean by that? When I wake up in my office here, I have all these asper, uh, uh, affirmations that are looking at me, right? And I go all around my office and I just read. And so I'm preparing to be positive. I'm preparing to be positive. You know, if I look over here, I have my, my life manifesto and it says, I am love. I am happy. I am content. I am creator. I'm abundance. I'm the number one personal development coach in the world. I am everything and I am nothing. And so for me, all throughout the day, I'm going to have an opportunity. So let's just say um, I get hit with a money challenge. I remind myself that, Will, you are abundance. You are abundance. I remind myself that you are a creator. So since I'm abundance and since, since I'm creator, let me just go create something that's going to generate the revenue that I need to take care of whatever it needs to be taken care of. And so I prepare. You got to prepare, right? I listen to positive things all day long. And so even though I may not be faced with calamity at this point, when I do get hit with it, because I fill myself with so much positivity, it's hard for negativity to get in. It's like literally, like what happens with a lot of people is something negative will happen. You'll start telling yourself and creating scenarios of what's going to happen because of this this negative thing. Oh, this happened because that happened, this, 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 and you're making up stuff, right? And because you haven't prepared to be positive, when anything negative tries to get in, I'm so full of positivity, it can't get in. Like my positivity pushes it out. Like if I had a thought like, Will, you're not going to succeed. I have so much positivity on the inside of me, like I can't even receive that. Like the thought, I can't stop the thought from coming, but because I have so much positivity, that thought can't take root. A lot of times we allow these negative thoughts to take root. And so now you start, oh, well, you know what? 
this happened and now I lost my job because I lost my job. This, 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 this is going to happen. Instead of all things work together for my good. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper, right? He'll make me lie in green pastures. No good thing will he withhold from me, right? I got all this positivity on the inside of me, that negativity, it's literally hard. Like, and, and, and when you do this, people think that you're not in touch with reality. They're like, you, you heard what just happened. You know what's going on. Yeah, I hear it. I see it but I'm not bothered by it because I have the right perspective, right? And I prepare to be positive. I prepare to be positive. Like I've prepared to be positive. Whatever situation I get into, I'm prepared to be positive. And so that's how, that's how I'm able to, because once again, a lot of times people think when you are positive, they think that you're not in touch with reality, but I'm very in touch with reality, but I also realize that you create reality. You create reality. I remember, um, not remember, well, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible talking about Joel, and it says, the thing that I greatly feared has come upon me. Why? Because it's the law of attraction, what you're thinking about all the time. Man, I know this is not going to work out. Like people will... <clears throat> It amazes me the language that we use. People will go up to someone and say, I know you can't help me, but I'm going to ask anyway. <clears throat> well, if you didn't think the person could help you, why would you even ask them then? You see the, how we approach things negatively? I know you can't help me, but I'm going to ask anyway. Then why even ask? Why, why even ask? Why even ask, right? So you got to prepare to be positive. And that gives the bonus, right? The bonus. You got to speak the language of positivity. You got to speak the language of positivity. This is a bonus. You got to you got to speak the language. Now, once again, when you speak the language of positivity, people think once again that you're not in touch. But this is what I do know for sure. When there is a situation that you deem not to be positive, I guarantee you talking negative about a negative situation will not make that negative situation better. Does that make sense? When there's a negative situation, you talking negative about the negative situation is not going to make it better. This is why the Bible tells us, it says, let the weak say I am strong. The Bible says, Call those things that be not as though they were. And so let the weak say, I am strong. It didn't say ignore the situation. It just says to say what you want about the situation. It's the same thing that God did. The Bible says that darkness was on the face of the earth. And God never addressed the darkness. He didn't say, oh, look how dark it is. Oh, my, look how dark it is. Nope. He began to speak what he wanted in the darkness. And so he said, I don't want darkness. I want light. So what did he say? Let there be light. So whatever you want in your life, whatever you want to manifest in your life, don't talk about what you don't have. Start talking about what you want. Start talking about what you want to see in your life. And so when you're faced with those situations that aren't positive, what do you want the outcome to be? Start talking about the outcome that you want, the positive outcome that you want. And then that will begin to change your attitude about it. It will begin to change the attitude around uh, the people that are around you. And then it will eventually change the situation. So this is how I stay positive. Hope it helps you out. Listen, once again, talking negative about a negative situation never helps the negative situation. Never helps it. And so choose to be positive. Choose to be positive. All right, nation, go out there and have an amazing day today. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow right back here inside the nation.